Hey, it's Nianevsky, and today I'm going to show you how to play the song More Precious Than Silver. It's such a beautiful song. Um, it just brings so much stillness, and I got really inspired by Stephanie's version of the song because she does it in the key of C, and you don't have to worry about any black keys. It's just really still perfect that perfect for that alone time with the father or, you know, in a group setting on stage. It really doesn't matter. It brings so much stillness. Um, so the way I'm going to start off this song is it's going to have a C chord, a G chord, F, and then a C. And if you're not familiar with all the piano chords, I actually have a chord chart that shows you every single chord on the piano and it's so nice you could really play any song with it um all right so starting off with this c chord looks like this um and i'm just gonna play c with my left hand g f and back to c and then with my right hand i'm gonna be playing this and then with the f chord i'm gonna play this a and F at the same time. And then I'm going to play this. So basically. That's what I'm playing with my right hand again. And adding in the left hand really makes a difference so I'm instead of just playing one key I'm probably gonna do octaves to add that dimension so and that's the introduction and I'm just gonna go right ahead into the verse so I'm gonna play it through one more time Whoops, I played a G chord instead of a C. All right, so going in it again. Um, I'm actually, I think I might add a little bit of that flowy style with my left hand. It's really gonna fill in those gaps. G. F. And then back to C. So for that second line, we ended it with a G. All right, so playing this again through that through the verse. I love how that flowy style actually fits in right into the song. So, Lord, you are more precious than silver. Sorry, you guys, I tried to keep it simple, but I just had to go into that entire flowy thing because I just feel like it fits so well with this song. Um, and if you actually want to learn, you know, get your hands used to flowing together, I have a lesson called the flowy style, and it really helps you get these arpeggios with both hands. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm starting out the flowy style here and I'm continuing it with my right hand. 
and sometimes I can go slow. You are. Or I can go faster. So if you want it to be louder, you can go faster. So it's such a beautiful um, skill to have on the piano because you can add this style to any song. I'm actually going to uh, link this lesson um, in the description box in case you want to learn this skill with both hands. Um, so I'm going to do that one more time and I'm just going to go through that verse of this song and you can sing all the rest of the verses with that same with the same chords. All right. I'm going to do it one more time. Lord, you are more precious line we have different chords so instead of just a C G F and C or G we're gonna be playing a D minor which looks like this sometimes I choose to play this a down here like this but you can just play the regular D minor nothing I... we have an F chord desire and a G chord compares with you C again we're almost like going up the steps here with the D minor, F, G, and then a C. notice that instead of just playing the C chord at the end I like to add the C2 or C suspended it adds a really unique sound to it all right that's that's it for this tutorial it's very simple it's a song with just one verse um, of course, it has more verses, but the same exact melody and chords work for each verse. All right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, go to pianoministrycourse.com if you need just guidance on how to face piano ministry and how to face the different situations we get placed in. Um, you get asked to play during prayer, sometimes during a sermon, and I really guide you through all of those situations and how I learned um, in this 10 plus years of ministering at the piano. All right. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.